Hey everyone, I know it's Monday, but this is gonna be your Tuesday tip on Monday, okay? So um, I have a recipe I wanna show you in the quick cooker. It's, it's a really fast and very, very easy recipe. It's called um, chicken parmesan pasta, okay? And so I have prepared so far, I have some chicken cut up. Um, the recipe calls for tenders. I just use a chicken breast, a large chicken breast, and I put the you can't read this, but it's the garlic and herb. One of my favorite reps is the garlic and herb. So I have, um, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see this. I have the quick cooker, okay? And I've just put it on sear, and I'm going to push the play button. See, that's a play button, right? This is the cancel button, this is the play button, or the start button. And um, I already actually had this already heating up and stopped it because I needed to do a couple other things. But I'm just going to go ahead and put in the chicken. So how do you like this? My, my camera chicken. And we're just going to like sear this so you can see it. Remember that when you're using your Instapot or Quick Cook or whatever, you need to have a very long handled spoon. This is our teal corner spoon, so I really like that a lot. Okay. And if you're wondering why my creative kitchen is called a creative kitchen, you can see a serger, a sewing machine, you can see quilts going on there, cutting board. Yep, that's all my creative stuff going on in my kitchen. So here we are cooking some more of this. We're just going to let that kind of heat up and keep cooking and come back here and I'm going to show you um, um, a couple of other things we need to open up a jar so I'm going to use our jar opener okay so this is a really great tool if you have problems with your hands and I'm sometimes getting to where I have problems with my hands you're just going to put it on it grabs and then it opens up um, it also has three holes, so you can see these two holes and this one right here that actually will fit, come journey with me for a minute, underneath, nope, gotta do this way. You can see it just fits right, in, right underneath your cabinet and you can't even see it, but it's right there and you can screw it in and um, have a jar opener. And then what's really great about that, especially if you have like grandmas or other people that have problems with their hands, they just put the jar in like this and then they can turn with both hands. So they're not having to necessarily use that joint to do that. It's a really great thing for people of that age. And we will use that in a minute, okay? So we're just waiting for this to cook up. It's gonna take a few more minutes for that. And while we're waiting, I'm gonna show you a new tool that doesn't come out until March 1st, okay? This is... My counter. <laughs> I don't have a cameraman with me, so there you go. Okay, this is tool is called the Quip Quick Food Prep Grater. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. Yeah, Quick Prep Food Grater. Okay, so it comes with all of these different blades. This is your slicing one. This is the coarse grater. And today I'm gonna to use the fine grater to do some cheeses. It comes with this bowl, but you can use any bowl that will fit. I need to move you back so this is better. You can use any bowl that will fit underneath here. So you could use this one or you could use this one. And I'm gonna use this one today. And everything goes right straight into the dishwasher, so that's great. It also has this guard that comes easily off, but guides everything down into your bowl. And then it has these two pieces. Um, this one, you can see has a slotted edge here, slanted edge, and you want to put your food in on the slant, um, and then push down, because it's going, because when you're doing this, the grate's going to push the food that way, so if you're holding it that way, it holds it in place and, and keeps it all going. Okay. okay, you can see both of this, I don't know. Okay, um, great thing too is that this comes right off, so it's very easy to clean, get underneath, um, and that, and this fits on this counter like no other. It's not going anywhere. So I really love that part about it. So let's put the blade on. When you put the blades on, they're really sharp. You want to like use a cloth 
kitchen towel like this, because all you got to do is just hold it in place, and then you have to be able to see this. Turn the handle, okay? It's going to lock on, and as soon as it starts to turn, you just stop, okay? So that means you don't have to like really tighten it really hard. You just have to just, you know, tighten it enough, okay? So let me check my kitchen. We're going to stir that around a little bit while that's going. Um, and then I'm going to put in some mozzarella cheese. And I'm just going to do this whole block. It actually fits right in there so that you can see it. And I'm going to turn this down so you can really see exactly the whole thing that's going on. Okay, I'm going to just start with my own hands. And just look at that. Like magic, it just totally does all of that grating cheese stuff. This is a really great tool for people who like to um, meal prep. Um, or who want to like, you know, or I would think even people who have large families who need to have a lot of stuff done. So one of the great things that you can do is if you have, um, and then I have some Parmesan, we're going to do the same thing and just stick that in. Like if you make your menu for the day, for the week, and you know that you're going to use cabbage in this mill and cabbage in that mill um, or carrots or you know whatever you could just do them and just um, you know grate them all at once get it all done you're done and you put everything away I'm just gonna double check to see and I think we got most everything on the inside of that plate So there we go. Okay, I think our chicken, see, I can't even get the rest of the cheeses underneath. All right, let's go back over here and spin this back around so you can see me up close and personal and now you see the chicken. Okay, so you can see that the chicken is pretty much done. So to this, I'm going to add a cup of my broth, I told you about doing my broth and um, I'm gonna add a cup of that. And then I'm going to do two cups of pasta and I'm going to put in this jar of pasta sauce. I have a little bit more to, sh to shake out with that. And then we're just gonna stir everything around. And, um, and I'm going to cancel this right here and I'm going to turn it to, um, custom. I'm actually going to do a custom one and we're going to do this for five minutes. Okay, I'm not gonna turn on just yet because I need to get a little bit more of the sauce out and to do that. Um, but just like that, dinner is done. That could not be faster. Um, I just love using this quick cooker. It just has made a huge difference. When it comes out, we're gonna add the cheese into it. I have some plankle breadcrumbs. And I don't know if you can see these or not, but plankle breadcrumbs are really, they're very um, coarse. Um, they're a Japanese breadcrumb, and I have some butter that I've melted here. We're going to add the two of them together, put it on top of the pasta, and also add the cheese. And I will show you how that all's done. But I just love, I love this quick cooker. I just, I use it probably four to five times a week. Um, if I'm not doing like the potatoes, or if I'm not doing a vegetable, then I'm doing a main dish. Um, or I'm doing the meat for like the carnitas, whatever we're eating. I use it all the time. It just saves me so much time in the kitchen. It takes about 70% faster to cook all of these. Um, the great thing about the quick cooker is it does come with some accessories. And we have some new accessories that are coming out in March. Would you like to see them? Let me go get them. Okay, so we have this. This is an egg cooker. You can do two dozen boiled eggs in this cooker. And I love that they have handles, make it very easy to get it out, okay? 
And then can you see where it has on this, it has these three kind of rounded marks. Those are for pretzels. So if you want to do a custard or single serving or whatever, you can do six of them all at the same time. And these are one cup, so it's really great, you know, portion control. And these also come with these little lids. So you can get them with these little gray lids that are designed just for the quick cooker. Um, they have that little venting hole so nothing pops up, you know, blows up and goes up into it. It releases the steam, um, and but doesn't allow a ton of water, you know, like that to go in. So really love that one. So those are just a few of the things that are coming out new in March. Um, I will be showing them to you um, later on on my business page, which is right here, if you want to see more of those. And I will come back at you next Tuesday. Have a great week. Thanks.